Well, we're standing in the street in, street in downtown Fernie, British Columbia today to send a strong and clear message to the province of British Columbia, the provincial government and British Petroleum that we do not want coal bed methane extraction in our backyard and our wilderness areas. many people well over 40 perhaps more than young people so the opponents of our position will be a little unsuccessful in marginalizing the group as just a bunch of young granola eating greenies there are a whole lot of old people here for many reasons most of which are just some form of self-interest that they want to save this special place how, how do you feel about the turnout today? I think it's amazing. We've got probably close to 300 people came out today from two months old to 80 years old. It's just an incredible cross-section of the community. There's no way that you can call us young radicals or old hippies or anything like that. This is a very, very broad diversity of people here to show that they're united in their resistance to this wrong-headed land use, this wrong-headed extraction industry in other areas and right here in this area is far too high impact, far too destructive to be acceptable in a beautiful Rocky Mountain wilderness like this. So we have the highest diversity of carnivores, wide-ranging predators in this region in North America. We have the highest diversity of plants in all of Canada. We have some of the most pristine water in the world in our backyard. And it's the last connection north-south for some of these iconic great predators like grizzly bears, wolverines, lynx, cougars, bobcats, and it's an extremely important area for wildlife. Yeah, the permanent solution to this problem would be a comprehensive uh, land use uh, plan, a special plan for this special place that includes a, a wildlife sanctuary in the Flathead Valley and includes uh, the rest of the landscape being managed for wildlife first. Not saying that we can't have other extractive activities, other sustainable uh, resource development opportunities on the landscape, but that we have to put wildlife first. I really appreciate this, this commitment today to show strength, this beautiful, colorful display of our unity and our power on this issue, that we're going to send a very strong message to the BP and the provincial government 